So here is an accessory for the Nintendo Switch that no one ever asked for, ever, but it exists, and it's a thing, and thank you Bob Wolf for showing it to me because now I have free real estate for my channel. I will give the bird a kiss for you. Bird breast. Skip it up and that up. So, look, even when consoles weren't popular, there was a bunch of accessories for the Sega Saturn. Consoles get accessories because there's a big market for them, whether it be third party controllers, whether it be screens, whether it, it doesn't matter at this point. It's just if there's money to be made there, there's going to be accessories made for that piece of hardware. And there's. Of course, complaints, especially with the first generation Switch. Let's just keep it real. Uh, you know, we have a, a, a nice thick with a C bezel. We also have, they did remedy this with the Nintendo Switch OLED, the worst kickstand in the world. Move bird, I did not ask you to be there, except you're not a real bird. I wish you were a real bird. And it barely holds it up. There, there, There's a lot to be desired. So those are things I could see remedy. Maybe making like a, a special kickstand for it. That maybe it, it all comes out in the bottom and makes a much more sturdy platform. Or other things like that that I could see. And, I, and there's a reason to have external monitors. If you want to play on a bigger screen. Or if you want to utilize the extra power of the Switch when it's docked. Because it runs at a higher clock speed. And games may run a little bit smoother. I can understand all that. But no one, absolutely no one ever went, you know what, I just wanted to, this is, people already say this is big enough because it barely fits into a pocket. I would, wouldn't recommend putting any Switch, including a Switch Lite in your pocket. I don't care what your weight is. I don't care how big your pants are or small they are. You are dumb to put a device with this much screen real estate, even a Switch Lite, in your pocket. You are begging to scratch it. Nonetheless, it's still considered somewhat portable you could put it in a case you could do it and you could just take it with you put it in your backpack and you're good to go and now a sponsored message from the birds and i about satisfy gaming guess what i'm satisfied birds why because today's sponsor is satisfy gaming and their awesome rise pads i love them and I love their grips. You know, I've been championing Satisfy Gaming in their grips for the Nintendo Switch and soon the Nintendo Switch OLED, Phil. I want a grip for my Switch OLED. I feel like I'm naked without that grip, please, soon. Because it changes the entire way your Nintendo Switch feels in portable mode. It's that much more comfortable. I could not go back to playing my Nintendo Switch without the Satisfy Gaming Grip. That's why I want the one for the Nintendo Switch OLED to come out sooner than later, Phil. Where is it, Phil? Well, the other game-changing product they have for your consoles is the Rise Pads for your analog sticks. And let me tell you something. It transforms how games especially first person shooters feel and i couldn't go back to playing my nintendo switch without the rise pads whether it be joy cons your series s controller or your playstation 5 controller they they make playing games transformative it has a swivel pad that you use on the left analog stick that just adds a level of precision and comfort that is like shocking i, I can't go back to having a non-swiveling analog stick for the left analog stick. It's weird at first, but once you try it, you can't go back. They also have the wave and notch pads, which are absolutely amazing. The added height gives you more leverage, which gives you more accuracy, and it it makes a night and day difference. Are you playing Halo Infinite? You are? Okay, yeah, you're, you're going to want these on your Xbox Series X or S controller or the birds are gonna be mad at you. And they also come in a five pack. You can mix and match the ones you want. If you don't wanna have the swivel rise pad, you could have the notch or wave rise pad. It, you, and they're easy to put on and off. So you could switch back and forth. And let me tell you something, once they're on there though, they're not gonna come off during play. I assure you, I've used them for hours on end and they're on there until you want to take them off, which at that point, they're easy to take off. 
So to get the Rise Pads and other amazing accessories, go to Satisfy.com and use the code REVIEWTECH5 to get 5% off of your order. And that's on top of the up to 48% they have off today on Cyber Monday. So you're going to save a lot. And the products that Satisfy sells for your gaming consoles transforms the way you play and makes your devices a hell of a lot more comfortable. Again, that's REVIEWTECH5 to get an extra 5% off your order and on top of it it's Cyber Monday so go nuts go to satisfied.com and tell Phil the bird sent you tell him I want my switch OLED grip like now Phil and now back to the bird breasted video Orion is making sure a problem that didn't exist is solved Man, I wish I had a bigger screen for my Switch so I can't put it anywhere practically and I'll basically have to carry it in a laptop case. That's what I want. Here is an 11.6 inch Switch screen that lets you basically play in docked mode on the go. And it is cumbersome, it is awkward. Keep in mind, this commercial is made by the company. This crowdfunding ad is made by the company trying to make it seem convenient and this is what they come up with. Enjoy. I'm also going to be commentating over it. I, they hired me as the voiceover actor. No, they didn't. Please don't sue me. But I'm still going to do a voiceover for it anyway because this product is absolutely ridiculous. Enjoy. Do you think your Nintendo Switch is too portable? Orion! Walk around looking like a fool with a giant tablet in your hands. It takes away all the convenience of a Switch and makes you look like a complete fool walking around with a whole bunch of accessories. Look like an idiot with your friends. Who wants portability when you could walk around with this awkward device? Have a skateboard next to you while you're playing with your oversized screen. But wait, there's more. Slide your switch in, bolt it down, and now they have this heavy device with also a terrible kickstand. It has speakers so you could hear sound, which probably sound very mediocre. It runs on USB-C power like any 2021 device does. And then add these straps to add an extra battery. That doesn't look awkward at all. Look at the giant mess on the back of your console. Plug in other consoles while you have your Nintendo Switch in the back. Orion. Look like a fool while playing your Nintendo Switch. Have your hands get extremely tired while holding a very big screen. Imagine how cramped your hands will get with an external battery pack. Play like you have a stick up your ass holding that heavy screen. It's ugly as well. Show your friends how much money you wasted on this unnecessary screen. There's a man in outer space. Maybe he's flying to Uranus. Orion, a device that no one asked for. Now, I'd love to see the dislikes on this video. I think I remember seeing it before the dislikes for the public to see got disabled on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure it had more dislikes than likes. Needless to say, why does this exist? Did you see what they were trying to do? showing them putting on an external battery pack. Did you see how awkward that whole setup is? You have to slide your switch in to something. So you have the weight of the switch, which it's not a super heavy device in and of itself as I'm trying to take my Joy-Cons off. But then you have this inside of another screen, which adds more weight. Then you're gonna put a battery pack on the back. <laughs> and the thing is like who, 
I've seen people complain about the resolution of the Switch screen, which I actually don't really have a problem with. I think 720p for the Switch's screen size for a console just, that's just based on gaming is perfectly fine. But I've seen more complaints about the resolution, not the size. And then you're showing, hey, play your next-gen consoles on a 1080p 60 hertz screen. Like if you want to hook up like the Series X or other consoles to it. It, it just you're trying to fill a, a market demand that there's no demand for. I could see if the only Switch screen <laughs> was the Switch Lite, then maybe I could see it. But who? Wh how are you going to carry that around, Orion? Are you making your own case for it? I would assume and hope so. Even if you are, like, that's a big... 11.6 inches is like a laptop size screen. You're going to need to, like, put that in a backpack. So where you could just get a case, like from Satisfy Gaming, you could get a case for your Nintendo Switch and simply carry it around in a small case and you're good to go. You're basically going to have to treat that like a little mini laptop. Like it, like it's a, actually bigger than what a netbook was. It's not practical. <laughs> There's just... And, and, and look, it did reach its goals on Indiegogo and there is a, a market for it. But I don't think people are really thinking it out because once you have to sit there and you're out and about, are you going to comfortably play that anywhere practically and, and not have it weigh down your hands? And it's just another big device that you're going to carry around, which, like I said, the switch isn't really pocketable to begin with. So this is inconvenient. It's dumb. And it absolutely amazes me that it exists. So. We'll see what happens, though. But I see these crowdfunding campaigns all the time for the Switch. I see them all the time for these weird devices. But this one, when I saw Bob Wolf post it on Twitter, this took the cake. Maybe, prove me wrong. I, I'm, I, I'm open-minded. Give me a reason why you think this Nintendo Switch screen is desirable and why you would buy it, even though it looks extremely inconvenient. And keep in mind, to, to get the hero pack of this, I'm looking... <laughs> on Indiegogo right now, uh, which gives you the protective carrying case, which gives you the Orion, the actual screen, which gives you a portable 10,000 milliamp hour battery and a t-shirt goes for almost as much as a Nintendo Switch. It's 289. Please don't buy this. <laughs> Please don't buy this. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm absolutely insane. Maybe I I'm the one that's wrong. Maybe this will be the device that gets so wildly popular. It's one of those successful crowdfunders, which is a rare thing where I go into Walmart and this thing is sold out there, but I just don't see it. You or why you're literally taking away the reason that the switch exists in my opinion, but who am I? I'm just a man on the internet with two beautiful, wonderful birds. Beautiful birds. This is Rich, Overview Tech USA, signing out with birds. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one.